Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial we are going to create some particles going around a curve. This tutorial is very beginner friendly so let's jump into it. So first of all I'm going to delete everything in the scene and then I'm going to go to edit preferences. There's just a small little add-on that's going to make your life a lot easier. If you go to add-ons just search for curve and make sure you install this add curve extra objects. That's basically going to give you some extra curve options when working with curves in blender so let's create our curve so shift a curve and then we're going to go down to curve spirals and select this first one i'm not sure how to pronounce that but yeah just select that and then here at the bottom of the viewport expand this properties and here you can increase the height of your spiral you can set the radius you can also increase or decrease the radius growth and here you can also increase the number of steps um, and you can create some really, really interesting looking spirals. So I'm just going to maybe do something like four turns, maybe something like that. And then I'm going to increase the radius at the bottom and decrease the radius growth. So it kind of goes from big to small. You can also adjust the steps value here and this will increase or decrease the resolution of your curve. So let's just find something that looks looks good and then you basically just click in the viewport press tab to go out of edit mode and there we have our basic spiral so next we're going to create our uh, particle emitter so for that we're just going to use a normal uv sphere so shift a mesh and then uv sphere and you can scale it down a bit to have it not too big so maybe something like that before we add the particle system let's make our emitter follow the curve now it's really easy to do that, just select your emitter and then go to your constraint properties here on the side and then click this drop down and then we're going to select follow path and where it says target you can just click there and then select your spiral from the drop down and now if you animate or keyframe this offset value you'll see that it's going to follow the curve something like that. So we're going to start at zero and then you just click this little keyframe right next to it. Make sure you're on frame number one. So then on frame 250, I'm going to set the offset value to minus 100. And that's going to go to the end of your curve. And then you just click this little keyframe button to add a keyframe. Now if we play through this, you'll see that our emitter will follow the curve. Okay, next let's create our particle object. So I'm going to press Shift A, Mesh, Icosphere. Let's scale that down and let's just move it out of the way. You can also rename this uh, object in the outliner. I'm just going to call this uh, particle like that. And then I'm going to click on our emitter again. And then I'm going to go to the particle properties. All right, so you click on the plus to create a new particle system. And now if we play this back, you'll see that our emitter will emit some particles. All right, so let's go down here and see what we can change to make it a little bit better. So I'm going to increase the number of particles to around 10,000. And you can play with that and see what works best for you. Lifetime, this is the lifetime of your particles. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to keep it on 50, but I'm going to increase the randomness to about 1. And that's just going to add some randomness to the lifetime of your particles. Source, we can leave as default. It's going to emit from the faces. Velocity, you can play around with this and see what um, how this will affect your particles. But I usually just increase the object velocity to around 0.5 and maybe the randomness to about 0.5 as well. Okay, next we're going to go down to render and we're going to change the render as from halo and we're going to set this to object because we want to use our icosphere as the actual particle. So where it says instant object, here you can select your particle object that we've renamed in the uh, outliner and now it's going to emit those little um, icospheres as particles. As you zoom in here, you'll see these are all little icospheres. All right, so yeah, you can set the scale as well, and you can also increase the scale randomness to just add some randomness to that. I think that's looking pretty good. Another thing that you can do under the render settings here on the side is to disable show emitter. 
and that will actually hide the UV sphere or the um, emitter from the actual render so that you only see the particles and not the particle emitter. So you can choose if you want that or not. So let's just scroll down here and see what else we can uh, do to make this a bit better. You can obviously go in here and you can change some of the physics settings. You can also go to your um, to your scene properties and you can change the gravity. If you disable that, it's going to just kind of do something like that. It's not going to be affected. It's not going to be affected by gravity. So I'm going to leave gravity on for now because I think that looks pretty cool. All right. So next, um, let's add a very simple material. So to do that, I'm going to do it on our particle object. So the icosphere that we created, I'm going to go to the shading tab and click new material. And then I'm just going to delete this principle uh, BSDF shader. And I'm simply going to add a emission um, and just connect that to the surface. And then we can set the color to maybe like a nice blue and increase the strength to about 20. Let's see how that looks. So I'm going to go to the render view and then under the render settings here on the side, I'm going to enable bloom so we can actually see the the emission or the glow of the emission material and now you can see we have something that looks like that maybe let's increase the number of particles even more i'm gonna set this to about fifty thousand, and let's play that back and that's looking pretty cool so we can obviously increase the speed that our emitter is going around the, pot, um, the the spiral. So I'm simply going to take this keyframe and just press G and just move it closer to around frame number 100. So it means it's going to um, it's going to complete the full spiral in 100 frames. So let's see if that looks a bit better. You can see that's looking pretty cool. So what we can also do is we can say that the particles will stop emitting at around frame 100. So with our emitter selected, go to the um, the frame start and end, and I'm going to set the end to 100. So that means it's going to, let's just begin that again. Let's just start that again from frame 1. And we've got some interesting explosions there, but you can see that it's emitting particles. And then at frame 100, it's just going to stop with those particle emissions. Cool. We can also hide our actual particle from the viewport and also from the render. So we don't see that. Another thing that you want to do is you want to apply the scale of your emitter. So with your emitter selected, press Control A and then just click on scale. And that's going to set your scale of that emitter object to one. And that's just going to calculate things a little bit better when you're doing any types of uh, particles or physics simulations. So let's just play through that and see how that looks like. All right, as you can see, that's looking pretty cool. Next, I'm going to go to the world settings and I'm just going to bring the strength down of this background color to zero. So we have a nice black background so we can see our particles a bit better. And as you can see, that is looking pretty cool. All right. And that's how easy it is to create a particle spiral animation inside of Blender. Uh, be sure to check out my Blender book that's currently out. It's called Taking Blender to the Next Level. I will leave some links in the description down below. And in the previous tutorial, I did a uh, tutorial from the book. So I took chapter 12, did a tutorial, and um, I'm going to leave a link down in the description where you can download that chapter for free in PDF form. So check that out. And uh, we're also going to do a book giveaway in the next couple of weeks. So be sure to subscribe. And yeah, I'm going to give away some, some free copies to the book. So yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give me a like if you enjoy um, tutorials like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers, bye.